What's going on everybody? Thanks for joining in today. I have a very, very special video. At least to me it's special because I've been trying to record this content for so long, but the perfect situation just hasn't happened for me yet. But finally, just the other day, I was playing The Last Flame on Flame Master, the hardest difficulty, and I've finally completed my first run with the Fragments activated so i've done the final secret boss on the hardest difficulty it's taken me a really long time and just to prove how long it's taken i've played the closed beta for over a hundred hours already so it took me over a hundred hours of practice in this game to get this achievement done it was totally worth it it felt so great so I have the recording of that happening for you today. Now, just as a note, it's not the full run through. What I have been doing is I've been practicing a lot. And if I feel really, really confident or really, really good with a run, I will start recording at act three, which is the last act before the final boss. And then the secret boss is after that, if you meet the requirements type of thing. So I don't have the full run because I wasn't recording every second of gameplay unless uh, it, it was actually a good run. So here is the run. Before I actually jump into that, I wanted to do a quick summary or a quick overview of how I got to Act 3 and the point that the video starts at. So here is my team. So starting from Zico in the top left here, he was my first pick. Uh, he is very, very strong early game. So he can scale his own attack by taking his HP away and then he has lifesteal to bring it back type of thing. So I've put some early game overall good items on him, but late game he kind of falls off. He is, his power is supplemented by some of the passives that I pick up on him and some of the uh, origin effects and also some of the relic effects that I have picked up but overall he was more of an early game character for me and then we have Ola who I have built offensively of course so Ola ha is really really good at gaining a lot of attack um, attack damage as long as you have the right items on her I have the sword that gives her power every crit that she makes and also um, I have that, that bone knife I think is the second item there, which basically gives her mana, uh, her, or sorry, converts max mana into attack, and it keeps giving you more max mana per per cast, which gives her more mana regeneration from her original passive mana dragon. Um, so she gets really, really powerful with those two items, and she keeps growing because of it. And then I gave her a piece of armor there just to give her a little bit of... Um, a little bit of survivability just in case she is getting hit because she is Malay. And then I have the robot here, uh, XZ09, who really surprised me. I actually don't like using him as a tank usually, but I've built him here as a hybrid spell power, spell power focused hero, uh, which with the first item here, the spell blade, converts that spell power into attack damage. And basically what he's doing is Anytime he casts, he starts attacking really, really fast, activating all of the items on him, giving him a lot of spell power, which is then converted into attack damage. And then his active ability itself is going to give him lifesteal and attack speed based on um, his spell power. So the spell power increases the amount of lifesteal and attack speed he gets so he keeps attacking faster and faster building up his power more and more and then as he keeps attacking faster he casts uh, even more and then he just gets crazy from there so he's slow to start in battles but once he gets going he's basically immortal and then we have a trios as my secondary tank he is more of a armor based um tank here so he has Sierra on him, which is the first item there, which gives a shield to everybody every, any time that he gets a shield. The glove in the second slot for him is giving him a shield based on how much armor he has. And then the third item, not the best armor generating item, but it, it just gives him some base armor for every enemy targeting him. So that's giving our team some survivability and himself some survivability. Uh, he gets a lot of armor from casting as well so he has a lot of survivability that way and then finally we have zots here at this point in the game where you're seeing the screenshot 
it, it he is not very strong just yet he still is our main damage dealer but he gets even crazier late later in the game you'll see what happens once you see the video but Zots here is a spell power slash attack damage hybrid person uh, I have him just gaining a lot of spell power and, and attack speed so that he can keep feeding himself spell power through his cast which gives him uh, a little bit of spell power and then we also have him with a spell blade I think just to further boost his uh, conversion of spell power into attack damage and vice versa. So that is the summary of the characters here. You're going to see the last act in a second. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to remind you to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying the content that I'm creating. Subscribe to see more from me. I will be playing a lot of roguelites just like The Last Flame and others like it on the channel. So if you're into that type of thing, please subscribe to support the channel and also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the content I'm creating. This will probably be the last piece of content for The Last Flame that I'm putting out at least for a while, maybe until full release, just because this was the last thing I wanted to do with the closed beta before I stopped. But if you guys want to see more Last Flame on this channel, please let me know through a comment. Uh, I'd be more than happy to show more content for The Last Flame if you guys are looking for it. And with that, I'll shut up now and let you guys watch the content that I've recorded for you. This is The Last Flame, Flame Master, Fragment Boss, Ultimate Victory. Thanks again for joining in today. Cheers. Enjoy the video.